In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory 
to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you're going to do do quickly. Now, none of those reclining the table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus told him, buy what we need for the feast or give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once. It was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, as I told the Jews, where I go you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it begins, our reading of the Gospel um, will continually move forward as we celebrate uh, the moments of our salvation. And it's clear that Jesus knows what's going to happen, He knows what He's doing. Another way in other part of scripture, he says, you know, I lay my own life down. You don't take it from me. And and he knows what you're going to do, do it quickly. And he enacted this. He started this. He prodded the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, the Sanhedrin. He wanted to die for us. And not just us or Israel, but all people. He died for you, but he died for all people. And he wanted to. So his love is, is expansive. And often we limit God's love. We put it in a box. Whether that's in our own community or our own family who we think can be redeemed, who we think can come back to him, can receive his grace. Or in our culture, our society, uh, um, what, what section of society or what race, maybe, what type of person can be redeemed. And we limit God. But over and over throughout scripture, even in the Old Testament, God is telling us, I'm coming for everybody. Do not limit my grace. Everyone. Isaiah says in today's first reading, it is too little. It's too little. He says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. That's a crazy statement. For a prophet, right, a Jewish prophet to say, 
God bringing back Israel, restoring Jacob, restoring all the tribes after they split and the northern kingdom split and they're exiled over here and they're going this and that. It's too little for him to bring them back. If you're hearing that, people would say, what do you mean it's too little? Isn't that the point? Mm -mm. That's not the point. The point's everybody. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. I thank God Isaiah was open, truly open, not just to what he thought God was going to do, but what God said he was going to do, which is, means it's beyond Israel, it's beyond the tribes of Israel, it's to all people. And even Isaiah most likely didn't t- totally understand what that meant. In my prayer, when I was reading um, this, that part on the the first, the first line, hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. When Isaiah is writing this down, I'm sure he's thinking, hear me, O islands, who's God going to save? Okay, he's not saving just Israel, so he's going to save the islands, the nations, even those on the, the edge of the earth. So what's that to Isaiah? Crete? Cyprus? That island? Even Isaiah doesn't understand what that means. No, he's talking about Manhattan Island. Hawaii. Isaiah didn't know what Hawaii was. Guess what's there? The gospel. Guess who's being saved there? All people. All at the ends of the earth. Even if we don't know what that means, we shouldn't limit God. God will surprise us in our expectations and who will always, he will always go to greater places further to save all people. Please stand for our intercessions. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his entrance into Holy Week for his sanctity and his own prayer this this week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are preparing for Holy Week uh, celebrations, for masses, for priests and ministers, um, preparing um, technology that they can have uh, the expertise and the help they need to completely, fully minister to the people of God through technology. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for all first responders um, who continue to work um, for us and put themselves in in harm's way for those who drive ambulances and and for uh, firemen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are part of um, transportation, public transportation, for bus drivers and people who run, run our transportation, that they may be safe uh, for com- from coronavirus and continuing to keep the infrastructure of our cities um, going. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, that they may offer up their sufferings with Christ on his cross, that they may bear fruit in their lives and the lives of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those for who this Mass is offered, for the salvation of all souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we place before you the prayers of this church. We're confident you will answer them according to your holy will and for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those who who you make partakers of these sacred gifts. Grant a share in their fullness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, 
you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Margaret, St. Thomas, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the The kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miseret en hobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, miser et en hobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, don han hobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. you singing a little bit more today? You've been practicing? You were practicing?